There's a lot happening this week. Those colors are so cool. Dynagro and the Foliage Pro. Is it there's more deliveries? Yeah, there's another courier. Need some kind of organization. My official warehouse. to my channel if you are new here hi my name is Rachel and I run my own small house plant business here in Auckland New Zealand if you are a returning subscriber welcome back and thank you for coming back to my channel today's video is a vlog style video day in my life and what goes on behind the scenes in my small business today is Saturday and I am actually in the process of making a product that I haven't made in a while and that is a triple diamante macrame hanger and I'm going to show you exactly how I make it today I kind of don't really sell these that often but I do enjoy making them so I why I keep them on the website so yeah let's take you I'll take you over here and show you what I've got set up it'll be a little bit hard to like show you this because of how it's all set up but this is the hanger that I'm making here it is going to be in vintage pink and forest green and I'm really excited to make this I love making them it's so much fun and it only takes me about I'd say an hour maybe to make these so yeah I'm going to start and make this So as you can see I have done the first one here. Those colors are so cool. I actually love it. So I'm going to do that exact same thing on that side and a slightly bigger version in the middle and then tie them up and then we're done. It is now the following Thursday. So it has been a hectic week and it is still going to be a hectic week. But I'm going to try and pick up this vlog again. I think the last you saw was me making that macrame hanger. I've got a new product today which is going to be launched at 5.30pm and that is the Dynagro and the Foliage Pro. These fertilizers are so popular with Kiwis. Um, I'm sure you've heard of them overseas as well. I think maybe. I don't know. Um, but we finally managed to get these in and we we're really really excited to start stocking that as well. So that happened today. And then we also just got another shipment of spag moss. Now you will have seen in another vlog that we uh, started stocking spag moss a couple of weeks ago and now this is our second order. We've got some more of the 40 liters because the 40 liters have been very very popular. But we also got this size which is 240 liters because I actually had a customer special order this because he wanted it as well as like 600 pots or something crazy like that so I special ordered this in for him and now I have a spare one as well so I can put that on the website as a new product so as you can see there's a lot happening this week and a lot going on behind the scenes as well I haven't actually got one here but we are still waiting on the go ahead and the paperwork from the laboratory that we we're getting our grow lights tested at they've approved all of our changes um, we've just had to send them like a picture of them actually fully done um, so we're just waiting for a reply on that everything is basically ready to go we just need the signed paperwork and then we can start selling them <sighs> blah, blah, blah. I'm going to open these up and put them on the shelf I just want to quickly show you the actual size of these <laughs> These 240 litre sphagnum mosses, they look like nothing on the website, but they're actually like massive. You're definitely getting your money's worth compared to like, there's like a different brand that does sphagnum moss, but like with the um, fertilizer in it and it's already damp. Like you get way more for your money when it's dried, obviously because it's lighter and it's more compact. So you get way more for your money with this compared to those ones that are already wet. Like those are a rip off. Like these ones are way better. She big. She a big boy. So that is all for today. Um, I'm actually going out to do something this afternoon. I will come back to you as soon as I get any more news on the grow lights or any other deliveries or anything like that. Good morning. It is Friday. And last night we launched the new Dynagrow range up there and it was a big success. We have 17 orders to get through this morning. No, actually 19. Yeah, 19 orders to get through this morning. So thank you very much to those of you who supported us last night and purchased the Dynagrow. So we are going to get straight into packing it this morning and then we have a large order that we're going to deliver to the other side of town and then we'll see where we go from there so yeah let's get a booking at these careers well in the middle of packing we got a delivery it's nothing exciting it's just a whole bunch of tape it's more deliveries have ah. <laughs> we just walked past and said there's more deliveries yeah there's another courier oh it's my pots it's my clear pots Let's unpack these quick so I can go help with the next, the next delivery. Okay. I 
I was going to finish restocking the shelves because they're a little bit empty, but me and hubby just had a thought. <laughs> we had a wild, crazy thought. You know how, I don't know, oh, I think I filmed it on my phone this morning. I didn't film it for the vlog, but we got in like 90 kilos worth of paper <laughs> to use in our packaging boxes because we just can't keep up. And we are struggling to store everything. Like we've got a massive garage, but we just need some organization. So we are deciding that we're going to turn my garage into my official warehouse. This is gonna be a project. This is gonna be an absolute nightmare. We're gonna run down to Bunnings now and get a few more of these shelves. We're going to take these ones out. So everything's gonna come off. We're gonna take these ones down, haul everything out, haul two new shelves in here. We're gonna take these ones out to the garage just because the distance between the shelves is more suited for like the massive boxes of pots we get. So we're gonna have a complete rearrange. Let me take you out to the garage to show you what's happening in there because it's a nightmare. So this is the current garage situation. As you can see, we've kind of used those ones. Excuse the house alarm, but as you can see, there are just boxes upon boxes everywhere here, kind of just piled up. Um, we really <laughs> need some kind of organization. It is like a nightmare. Look at all these boxes. So we are going to get some more of these shelves and make it like a warehouse in here. Happy Saturday. Today I am going to start on the removal of stuff from these shelves for our warehouse makeover, our garage makeover that we are doing. Um, if you want to see the rest of the makeover, you'll have to wait to the next video. I'm doing a whole video on it and it's going to be awesome. But yeah, I'm going to just start by taking all the stuff off these shelves because we're going to actually swap these into the garage because I think I said before, the spacing between the shelves is better for like large boxes and the new ones we're going to put in here. So that's all I have to say really. Let's get into taking all this stuff off the shelves. So everything is now officially boxed up and off the shelves and as you can see this room is a freaking mess uh, and stuff under there as well and there's stuff in there as well. So that is all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it despite it being slightly shorter and a little bit jumbled up but if you did make sure to hit that like button down below and also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and if you want to see the full and complete warehouse redo make sure to follow me as well for that. Make sure to go to our Instagram and Facebook for more behind the scenes updates as well and to my website www.growinggreen.nz if you are looking to up your houseplant game. So yeah thank you so so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!